Hi guys, it's me Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another tutorial. Danica over at Lady Love Design Boutique asked me to demonstrate the, her new stitch of the month for her Facebook group. And so the new stitch of the month is going to be the mini corner to corner stitch. Before we start with the chart, I want to show you the difference between a regular corner to corner stitch and a mini corner to corner stitch. Okay, I did this piece right here. This is a seven square by seven square corner to corner piece, and this is the sta the standard uh, corner to corner pattern where you use double crochets and you do chain you use chain threes and then you also use chain six when you're doing your turning okay and this measures I did a seven square by seven square and this measures oops, upside down <laughs> this measures four and a half inches square okay now I did this swatch let me put that one there so you can see that. Now I did another swatch with the same yarn and the same hook size and I used an H hook, or my H uh, tulip hook which is a 5.0 millimeter hook and I did another square and this one is seven stitches, uh, seven squares by seven squares, okay? But the measurement of the mini corner corner is roughly three and a half inches so there's an inch difference in the size now this is real beneficial if you have a chart that has got quite a few squares in it and um, if, if it's looking like the using a standard corner to corner pattern is going to make your your square or your blanket a whole lot bigger than you you wanting you can try doing the mini corner to corner of the same graph using the same amount of squares and you're going to get a smaller end product which may be what you want depending on your project and depending on how many squares uh, the graph has okay the dimensions of your chart okay now let's move this out of the way and now the chart that Danica is supplying for this stitch is this right here Okay, I am using my program that I have on my laptop and it's called stitchfiddle.com or that's where it's located, stitchfiddle.com and um, it is a free website and this, this stitchfiddle.com also has a tracker and so I just had to put in the fact that I'm going to be doing this corner to corner and what direction I was wanting to track my chart and then I... Uh, you touch this up there or whether you click on that and that gives you the line it that is the line that's highlighted uh, depending on what direction if you're coming from this angle or this angle however you're reading it uh, now I am left-handed and so uh, for left-handers we normally or usually read the chart from the left-hand corner going up uh, right-handers normally read it from right hand corner at the bottom going up toward the left so anyway I just wanted to show you that and um, of course you would be ch starting down here in the very corner and so let's get our supplies and I'll show you how to get started on this chart and I will also show you a few of the color changes and then I'll check back in w uh, with you and show you how you do your decreases okay because corner to corner of course is just what it means it goes from corner to corner so you start in the corner and then you start increasing on both edges until you get to the halfway mark point of your chart and then you start decreasing down to finish up your square okay and in this case this chart is a square it's 40 squares by 40 squares okay okay so let's get started okay so for this project of course you're going to need your crochet hook I am using an H hook which is a 5.0 millimeter okay and I uh, you're also going to need oops, <laughs> of your yarn of course you have uh, this particular graph has got a chart has got three colors in it 
um, scissors and of course you will need a yarn needle to weave in your ends and um, that's it now I like to use these bobbins and they are just jumbo clothes pins let me show you one okay sorry about that <laughs> Uh, these jumbo clothes pins that I get at Dollar Tree in packs of six they're just plastic clothes pins and I feel like that they work very well as bobbins for uh, when doing graph gans okay so starting with my background color of my chart now I've zoomed my chart up since I'm just going to be working in one corner I've zoomed it up so I can read the chart easier and I'm going to be using yellow because I think it, it shows up well against my black background here. But of course you use whatever background color you, you would prefer. Okay, so you start with a slip knot. Okay. Let's see, I guess I'll zoom up just a little bit. Okay, so you start with a slip knot and you chain four. One, two, three three four okay and then you're going to now with the uh, standard corner to corner method it is done with double crochets okay and in the mini corner to corner we're going to be using half double crochets okay and so in the beginning like I said we chain four okay now we're going to yarn over and we're going to half double crochet into the third chain from the hook okay so one two three right there so we just half double crochet into that chain okay yarn over and then half double crochet into the next chain and that is your first square it's hard to see that it's a square so it's, since it is so tiny but um, that is the first square on our on your chart okay now in the standard corner to corner you use there is a turning chain and three double crochets with the mini corner to corner we're going to have a turning chain and two half double crochets but only two of them instead of three of them okay so the project will be smaller it also should go faster because you're you're not doing as many stitches okay so now we're going to chain four one two three four Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. And then half double crochet into the next chain. Okay, so now you have a figure that looks like this. Okay, you're going to take the first square that you made and you're going to flip it up like that. Okay, and then we're going to connect them together like this okay so you take your hook let me get some extra yarn here okay so you take your hook and you insert it and where you're going to insert it is right underneath that fur that turning chain that first uh, change that we made okay and we're going to do a slip stitch to connect those two blocks together okay now we're going to chain two one two because the equivalent of a half double crochet is a chain two okay so we're going to chain two and then we're going to half double crochet back into that little space that is uh, underneath that chain two that we did for this square okay so half double crochet and then we do one more half double crochet okay so now if you look at your work you have three chains you have this one that's the very corner one and this this is one two see that okay and so on the chart we have done that second row see there's two blocks that we did okay and the way you follow it if you printed out the picture and you're marking it off with a pencil you would start in the corner and you would follow the chart marking off line by line the diagonal lines or rows and you do it in a serpentine manner I always like to start when I'm drawing my lines I like to start at the top and draw my line down and then so that block number one would have had a line going down okay and then the block number two which is this diagonal row will be going up 
so one, two. So that works out to be my odd numbers are going down and then my even numbers are going up. Doesn't that make sense, I hope? <laughs> okay, so there is our, our uh, second row. See, so now we have the one for that first row and we have two for the next row. Okay, so now we're, we're ready to do the next row on the chart, which is row three. And as you can see, you have three squares that you need to make. So chain four, one, two, three, four, okay. Let me get some more slack on my yarn bobbin here. Okay, so four, and then we're going to half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. And then half double crochet into the next chain. Okay. So now we have something like that. We're going to take that work and we're going to flip it up. And what it's going to be, when it's going to start looking like, what I like to call them little stair steps. So see this little broke, this is like a broken stair. <laughs> and so we want to connect it to uh, the one next to it, okay? And the way we do that is we insert our hook from front to back into that, which was the turning chain of that square, okay? You, do, you go underneath it like between that turning chain and the next stitches, okay? And you go into that and you make a slip stitch, okay? Then chain two, one, two, and then you do two half double crochets into that same hole. So one and two, half double crochets, okay? So now we made this step, we need to connect it to the top step of our little stair step, see? So we're going to do the same thing. We insert our hook from front to back and we slip stitch into that space right there, okay? And then we do chain two, which is equivalent to a half double crochet. And then we half double crochet two times into that same hole, one and two, okay? So now, see, we just completed that row and now we have one, two, three. We have three little stair steps, okay? Which would coincide with the three that we have highlighted on our chart or that we had marked through, okay? If you're using it on paper. Okay, so now we go up to the next row and now we have to do four, see that? So we do the same thing and this is how you do the increase on each end. You chain four, one, two, three, four, okay? You half double crochet into the third chain from the hook, okay? And then you half double crochet into the next chain, okay? And then you take your work and you flip it up, you turn it up, and then you connect it with a slip stitch into that next step, see? And so now we've got our work turned, and so now we work our way up the stair steps here. So chain two, and then two half double crochets into that same space, okay? Then we connect it with a slip stitch into the next stair step. Chain two, two half double crochets into the same space. Okay, and then we slip stitch into that top up there, this, into the same space there, and then we chain two, and then two half double crochets into the next one, I mean into that same space, see? So now we have one, two, three, four. We have four in our row, and same as on our chart, see that? So we just finished that row, so we now we go to the next one. And see, now we have five, okay? So you're gonna do that uh, and you're gonna keep going and you've got quite a few rows here until you reach where, until we reach up where we're gonna introduce the red color for the bow tie, okay? So I'm gonna keep working on my piece and um, you keep working on yours. If you need to, uh, re well, I keep saying rewind, I guess that's old school. <laughs> but if you need to back up the video um, to to look at the increases, and we are increasing on each edge, okay? Um, if you need to go back and look to see how I did that increase again, feel free to do that. Now I'm gonna keep working until I get to the point where I'm going to add in the red color to start the bow tie, and I will meet you back there. Okay, so I've now reached to the point on my chart that I'm going to need to add in my red color for my bow tie, okay? So I've gone 
on my char, I'm on my piece all the way up to now I'm going to be uh, need to add in three of the red to do that row for the I mean to do the um, to start the bow tie on my chart and so I'm going to be using this red I've already got it bobbined up and so I'm going to get ready to start and add the color in okay so I'm going to push that up just a little bit there so you can see what I'm doing hopefully <laughs> okay so uh, I've got my block made I need to connect it to this next piece of my stair step see so I'm going to insert my hook into the next piece but instead to connect like like regular with my slip stitch insert my hook from uh, from the front to the back but instead of picking up the the yellow which is my background color I'm using I'm going to drop that and I'm going to pick up my new color which is this red and I'm going to pull that through from the back to the front and through my working loop there to create my slip stitch to do the connecting and then I'm going to take the yellow and I snugged it up in the back and then I can continue with the red so now I'm going to do just like regular chain two one two half double crochet twice and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be working over this that tail of the red okay to help secure it so I'm going to half double crochet twice into that same space okay now see how that connections looking a little bit sloppy you can just pull on the yellow and then you can also pull on your tail there to uh, tighten that up okay there you go now I'm according to my chart I need to do three of those red squares so there's my first one slip stitch to connect to go up to the next square okay and then chain two half double crochet twice in that same space okay there's my second one and then slip stitch into the next one to connect and then chain two half double crochet twice okay so there's my third block see that and now you see on the chart I need to change back to my background color now so I take that and I change the color just like I did when I changed to the red I insert my hook into that next stair step where I'm gonna uh, slip stitch to connect it but I'll, I will draw up a loop of this new back the new yellow okay the background color see that slip stitch and then I take the red since that loop made it kind of a big loop I take the, that red in the back find I gotta find it <laughs> right there okay and then I snug it up and then I keep going chain two with the yellow and then half double crochet twice into that same space to create that square and you can work over the tail of that yellow that you just introduced the new tail <laughs> okay and like I said you can always snug that up by pulling on the tails a little bit in the back and then continue on okay and as you can see the rest of that line is just the background color so I'll continue on going up the stair steps just like what we we've been doing okay with our half double chain twos and then our half double crochets two of them um, to form our squares going all the way up the square uh, the stair steps there okay okay so I finished that row and I turned the corner um, and now I'm coming up I'm reading the chart going up and I've started working on that next row see and I am to the point where I need to now start uh, add, add some more red okay so now I have four squares of red that I need to add on okay so my red is already attached let me pull push that up just a little bit so then you can see my work okay so I turn the I turn my work and I worked up my background color and now I need to do a red square and so what I do is I'm going to insert my hook okay into the stitch like I'm doing a slip stitch but instead of picking up that yellow I'm gonna drop the yellow and I'm gonna pick up the red 
the red bobbin that's already attached. See that? And so I'm going to pick up that and pull that through and then through my loop to make a slip stitch. I'm going to tighten up the yellow in the back and then I'm going to continue by chaining two and then doing two double crochet, I mean, sorry, two half double crochets into that same space, but I'm going to be working over that red uh, strand of yarn in the back. So one half double crochet, and then here's my second half double crochet, okay? And now I keep continuing on just the way like I've been doing, okay? So I insert my hook and I do a slip stitch to connect it to that next step up, chain two, and then two half double crochets. One, two. So that's my second one, second red square, and I need four of them. So I'm gonna insert my hook into the next stair step to connect it okay with a slip stitch and then chain two and then do two half double crochets into that same space okay so that's my third one okay now I need to make one more so I'm gonna first I gotta connect it to that neck that stair step up by doing a slip stitch and then chain two and then two half double crochets into that same space that completes my fourth square on that row which is what I need okay so now for the remaining of the the piece all the way up to the top I need to use go back to my background color which is still attached here and so I just drop that red in the back and then now what I'm going to do is since this yellow is coming out from here I want to first pass the yellow in between this square and the square that we just made because I always want to draw up the loop when I'm doing my slip stitch I always want to draw up the loop from the back okay so I push I put the yarn at the back of my work okay and then I insert my hook into the piece to do the slip stitch and then I pick up that yellow yarn and then I do a slip stitch okay and then of course I have to snug up the red in the back and then continue on and then you work it all the way up to the top and then I'll do one more increase for you up to the top okay so now I'm at the top I need to do one more square the very top one on that row okay and so the way I I've been I do it the same I'm just pulling out some more yarn here <laughs> uh, I just do it the same way that I've been doing it by slip stitching to connect to that top step okay and then chain two and then insert my hook into that same space for two half double crochets okay so that creates the very last uh, square on my chart so now I'm ready to turn my work and start the next row. So on my chart, I'm going to um, go highlight my next row there. And now I'm going to be working down the chart instead of up. And um, to make that first stitch, I need to do an increase because my piece is still getting wider. Okay, so remember to do the increase. You chain four, one, two. Oops two, three, four, see, chain four, and then half double crochet into the third chain from the hook, and then half double crochet into the next chain, okay? And then that's when you're gonna turn your work, so that way your stair steps are going to be heading up. I'm just moving my bobbins around here to get everything straight, okay? Pulling some more yarn out. Move this up a little bit. Okay, so I turned my work, and now I'm going to connect to that stair step, so then I can start heading up the heading up the stairs by doing a slip stitch. Okay, same as what we've always been doing. Chain two, two half double crochets. Okay, so you just keep doing that following the chart and like I said the chart is read in a serpentine fashion okay and then uh, you just change colors as you need um, and then of course you're gonna you're gonna get up here 
uh, up your chart and then you're going to have to start increasing uh, sorry introducing the black and so you will have multiple even more multiple bobbins there um, and then so you keep doing that until you get up to the very corner of your chart let me zoom out a little bit so I can see my whole chart here okay so once you get to that row there where you're completely to the halfway point then we are done we are finished with increasing and then now we need to start in decreasing okay so let me show you how to decrease okay so when you reach the halfway point on your chart and and you're coming up to the end of that middle row okay then when you're going to turn the corner instead of the chart getting bigger it's now going to start go getting smaller going this direction okay so from you're going to stop doing the increases on each end like we were doing where you do the chain four and then uh, uh, double, I mean, half double crochet in the third chain from the hook and then double crochet in the next one and then turn your work okay so that was increasing that making your sides get longer well now we've got the the width or the length on these two sides complete now we need to work down this way which means the amount of rows the stitches across or the squares across are going to get smaller and smaller until we reach that point right there okay so now we're going to start doing the the middle part and the color changing everything's going to be exactly what you have been doing okay and uh, the only thing we're going to do is on each end, right before we turn our work, we're not going to do an increase. We're going to do a decrease on each edge, okay? And that's going to help complete the square. To show you how to do the decrease on each corner, I'm going to just use this swatch piece, okay? So that way it's smaller, it will fit in the camera easier, the camera view, and uh, I think it would be easier for you to see, okay? So... I've reached up to the top of my chart and I don't want to increase the sides anymore. I want to start decreasing down to start completing this square piece, okay? So, instead of chain, chaining four, I'm going to chain one, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my work, okay? Just like that. And now I'm going to, what I want to do is the, the squ first square I want to make, I, w it, I want to put it right here in this little piece right here. I do not want to put it on the top the way we have been doing because that would make an increase. So we ch I chain one, I turned my work, okay? And now, as you know, that square, which was the last square we just made, has got two stitches that were double crochets and then on a turning chain right the starting chain two that we did and so i'm going to slip stitch into each one of those so then i can get my hook into this corner stitch right there okay so i'm going to just slip stitch into the top of that half double crochet and then i'm going to slip stitch into the top of the next half double crochet see that and then now I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that hole where I've been working my my uh, squares okay so that gets me up to the corner where I'm going to now shift my work where I'm going to be going up the stair steps again okay so now I'm going to do just like what I've been doing so uh, chain two and then two half double crochets into the same space Okay, and then of course I need to connect my stair step, so I'm going to slip stitch and same, do the same way I've been doing. I insert my hook from the front to the back, and I'm going to insert in between, right underneath that turning chain loop, off of for that square. Okay, do a slip stitch, chain two, two half double crochets into the same space, one and two. Okay, and, and then let me go ahead and connect it and then I'll show you the square. Connect it with a slip stitch, okay, chain two, I'm just do that so I can show you. And see how the edge now made a, put it up against the black, see, it made a square edge, so now it's going to start getting, making it square shape, see that? 
okay so now I'm gonna work all the way up to the top of this row and then I will show you the in the decrease one more time when I get to the top okay so now I'm at the I'm at the top of this uh, this row okay and I have to of course connect this square that I just made to the top step by doing a slip stitch okay oops slip stitch okay now now I'm ready to do my decrease. I don't want to put another square at the top of this because that would make this this side get uh, larger and I don't want it to get larger now I'm, I'm trying to decrease it. So I just do a chain one and then I just turn my work. Okay. And then I'll, now I'm going to slip stitch across this edge so then I can make my first square right there in that little spot right there, okay? So I've got two half double crochets in the turning chain that I need to slip stitch across to get to that corner. So slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet, slip stitch into the top of the next half double crochet, and then slip stitch into the corner or the top of that chain, chain two turning chain, see that? And now I'm gonna shift to find my stair steps, which is right there, okay? And now I'm gonna continue on. So I'm gonna chain two, and then two half double crochets into that, around that turning chain loop, okay? And then connect with my slip stitch. Let me do it again, chain two, two half double crochets, okay? and then connect with my slip stitch, chain two, and now I can show you, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down here so you can see what it's doing. Oh, move that up, there you go, okay. So see, this edge here is making a square corner, and this edge is making a square corner, so we do know that it's going to be now decreasing on either end to make a square piece, okay? So, that's how you do the mini corner-to-corner -corner stitch. Um, so just keep working on your chart until you, in each row from now to the end, you're going to do one less square until you get all the way across to finish up, finish up your piece, okay? So see, each one would be smaller and smaller rows. Okay, and then that's all you do. And then at the end, when you get up to the top, if it's the end of your work, slip stitch into that to connect those two steps together, just this, like the same. And then you don't have to turn your work. You just snip off your work and pull your thread through and then uh, snug it up to tighten it up. And then, that, and then you, your piece would be complete. And that's how you would uh, fasten off, okay? Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. I hope it will help someone uh, to learn this uh, mini uh, corner, corner stitch that maybe didn't know how to do it before or it confused them in some way. So I hope maybe th uh, this will help. And thank you Danica from Lady Love Design Boutique. I will put a link in the description box below of her Facebook group where you can go and join and uh, participate in this new stitch of the month and receive this chart. So we will see you in the next video. Bye!